Hi everyone, my name is Tiffany. Welcome back or welcome if you've never been here before. Today I want to do the twice a year book tag. So I recently saw Steph from Novelty Corner do this tag. She was actually tagged, okay? I'm just doing it because I like the idea of revisiting this tag around the month of October. That's a very high volume themed novella month for me. And before I get into this video, I just wanna address the fact that you're gonna be getting overly expressive hand gestures in this video. I recently did my nails. There's a reason why I don't do lashes and nails at the same time, okay? So you're just having to deal with that today. I'm aware okay it's a little expressive moving on there are seven questions that i'm going to list below just in case you would like to do this tag and i'm going to try to tag the original creator thank you steph because i'm going to be using that description box as a source let's get into it i'm going to refer to my phone i'm not going to sit up here and pretend like i remember all the questions <laughs> okay the first question is how many books do you think you'll read this year i have no idea I have been averaging about 30 to 35 reads every single month, which is a little light for me. But I will say this is only the second year that I've been tracking every single book that I've read. It's a very new thing for me. So the second question is, have you made a specific reading goal or target that you need to check in with and keep track of? Mm. My Goodreads target or goal is 500 and the only reason why I said it that is because last year I read 513 and there were a few consecutive months that were really slow for me because I was in the process of moving. I was helping family members move. There were some personal life things that hit. So I figure if I was able to hit 513 last year, it should be simple for me to do that this year. And I don't really have any sort of methodologies for making sure that I'm on track with the quantity. I think Goodreads is aggressive enough with that little reminder that I'm six books behind if I don't input everything. I mean, come on. So <laughs> I don't do that to myself. I do take very extensive measures when it comes to remembering to pick up all of the books that I'm influenced by and that I want to read. So any book that I see on like Bookstagram or Booktube, I will like put into an Amazon wish list. Those are mm, separated by genre. Some of them have, you know, mood related names like Midnight Snack for my spicy novellas. I also have one that is Salutes and Somersaults. That's just what I would do for some of the doms that I want to meet, things like that. Okay, so I put them in lists. I have saved playlists on any play, also books on hold on Libby and things favorited on Hoopla. And so all of these lists I like to put into spinner wheels just to kind of track my mood. So if monster romance comes up and I'm not in the mood for it, I still will go through that list just to, you know, make sure we ain't in the mood, okay? But also so that those covers continuously go across my eyeballs and I don't forget about the books that I want to read. I have about 62 and they're repeated across, you know, these lists, genre, I have tropes, kitschy names. So that's kind of what I do to make sure that I'm still remembering to pick something up. Like for example, recently, Jess from Peace Love Books, Sam, Cheyenne, also, McKay did this cute little reel about their favorite June reads, Tori as well, because I am going to be reading Ivy soon. Anyway, sorry, this isn't about tangents. But my point is, I'm easily influenced. That reel was like catnip for me. And I saw Parallel was Jess's favorite book of the month of June. And I also saw that Christy Reads A Lot had recently read it. So it's instantly going on a list for me. I have recently bought some time travel romances myself and it's also a video idea so i'll log that book in there it'll hit all my playlists and at some point i'm gonna pick that up so that's kind of my process to make sure that i'm getting the quality it's not so quantity focused however i mean that's part of it right i mean i'm tracking every single book anyway that's my long-winded answer for that third question is how many five-star reads have I read so far for this year? 
I looked this one up and it's 67 out of 250 reads so far. So I'm halfway to my goal. We're halfway through the year. We're on track. Okay. And again, my biggest months for novellas are October and December. In December, I pick up at least a novella a day. I've done that for the last three years. So I don't really worry about hitting my goal because novellas kind of inflate that. Sometimes, you know, they're less than 75 pages. I read them because they bring me so much joy around the holidays. So the fourth question is, what's a popular book you own and haven't read yet? I mean, I have brought this book up so many times. I promise I'm going to read it by the end of the year. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I also own The Deal by L. Kennedy. I got this recommendation from Victoria from Victoria's Romance Reads. She recently hit a thousand subscribers. Go ahead and check her out if you aren't already. Congratulations, Victoria. I also own Book Lovers on ebook and I haven't picked that up either, but I will. I've been hearing great things. Next question is, do you want to reread anything in the next few months? Yes. I am preparing for Wanderlust in San Antonio. I'm excited about seeing Sophie Lark. I'm excited about seeing Serena Ackroyd, as well as Sarah Kate. Tally Hart's gonna be there, Nikki Ash. And so, at least for Sophie Lark, I would like to reread Ivan. I'd like to reread Snow, as well as The Bully, Stolen Air, and Broken Vow. I want to annotate those books up, okay, before she signs them. I also would like to reread The Salacious Players Club. And as far as Serena Ackroyd goes, I want to reread Filthy Rich, Filthy Sex, and Filthy Hot. So those are my wanderlust rereads. And aside from that, I really want to reread Dark Notes by Pam Godwin this year. I apologize. I'm not going to sit up here and act like you didn't just get an abrupt jump cut, okay? <laughs> My camera died. I thought I could squeak this short video out on low battery. My camera said perhaps not. Okay, next question is, new releases I'm anticipating for the second half of the year. Oh, I mean, I can think of a couple book sixes next month. Cruelly Bitten by Lexi C. Foss is coming out. This is book six in her Blood Alliance series that I love so much. It just hits because it has transformative romances for the couple that also have a ripple effect on the society around them. That is one of my favorite things in a romance. This is in a world where humans have no rights. They're mere blood bags and flesh toys. Lichens and freaking vampires rule the world. And also each hero in every single romance is working to upend that exploitive system that's corrosive for everyone. So they really have to work hard to garner the heroine's trust in these capture captive situations. And I love it so much. I'm also looking forward to Lunatic. That will be book six in the Necessary Evil series by Anli James. This one is Archer's book. And I'm excited about this one as well because his hero should at least intellectually understand his psychopathy being that his brother is a sociopath. And I'm really considering joining Audley James's Patreon because I hear she's doling out chapters. I'd like to get my hands on a few of them. I'm also looking forward to Husband Material by Alexis Hall. Come on. Let's see, Before I Let You Go by Kennedy Ryan. This is supposed to be a marriage in trouble that we have to wait till November 15th for. That woman is an alchemist of words. She reminds me of like surgical massaging. You know how like in Grey's Anatomy where like Meredith Grey is doing her thing. They're all watching from the galley in awe for the umpteenth time. And she's like coaching the resident through massaging the heart or the lungs while she's stitching over here. That's how I feel with Kennedy Ryan. She's just like gripping my heart throughout, okay? It's pulsating until she stitches me back up. And the stitches are felt long after. I cannot wait for Before I Let You Go. Also, Anastasia by Sophie Lark. It will be her first fantasy romance. That doesn't come out until December, but I mean, 
I'm patiently awaiting it. I don't want to force or rush the magic as if I could, but this is one that I am, you know, patiently awaiting. I'm okay with it taking as long as it's gonna take. Other than that, well, quite frankly, other than Caution to the Wind by Gianna Darling, which doesn't have a release date yet, I can't, I'm not waiting for that very patiently. Um, I can't really think of anything else on the top of my head. If you have new releases that you're looking forward to, please drop them below so I can keep my eye out for those. Those are my picks. The last question I believe, we made it, okay, is what do I plan on picking up next and do you think you'll rate it four stars or above? Mm, let's look it up because I wanna get the title correct here. I'm planning on picking up a Harry Potter fanfic. This is a Jen gem, okay, meaning nudged to me, recommended by Jen from the Book Refuge. So off the bat, I expect it to be five stars. That's just been my track record. Um, but she hasn't steered me wrong yet. So I'm planning on reading Safe Word is Devil's Snare. This is between Hermione and Neville. It's an arranged marriage due to some reproduction issues in the magical world after the war. It's also going to be to BDSM. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm expecting it to hit like all of my gen gems do. And I believe we finished the tag. Hopefully I wasn't too long winded. I want to thank you for joining me. Please consider subscribing, sticking around, leaving me your favorite emoji. Mid thought here. If you don't want to leave a comment, even though I really love your comments, leave me your most used emoji. I feel like that's very telling. It would be fun for me to see. Anyway, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Uh -huh.